When did you find out you were going to be in Series 2? It was, uh, while the first series was being broadcast, Chris Chibnall, uh, the writer, called me up um, and asked if I'd be interested in a second series that would be involved in, in the court uh, case mm. following what happened to Danny. So obviously I said, yeah, mm. yeah, whatever, whatever you want me to do. In the series one, at one point did you find out that you were going to be the killer? I got a phone call from Chris about three weeks before we finished. So he put about halfway through episode seven. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> he was just pretending that he was calling to find out that everything was all right and then just dropped into the conversation casualty. And by the way, it's you. <laughs> if you didn't learn from the start, do you think, would you have still taken the role? Because obviously some people would be like, oh, I don't want to be typecast as a killer. Yeah, no, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I would have. Mm. Um, but tentatively, kind of, um, mm. Uh, that's very exciting, but where are we going to go? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, the writing was so brilliant that you couldn't have turned it down, I don't think. And would it have made it more difficult to play it in the sense that you would have known where it was heading and that you would have found it harder not to to be <laughs> dropping in the occasional evil sort not of to. smile or something? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, my, my ego likes to think that I would have been able to carry it off. But in reality... Um, I hope that I would have been able to carry yeah. it off. But I, d I think certainly not knowing did, did us uh, a lot of favours. How has it worked with Series 2 in the sense that obviously you didn't know where that was heading? And mm. that w Was it the same in Series 2? I mean, how much was revealed when you, f you first signed up? It was uh, nothing other than that it was a, a court case. Mm. Um, and then we, we were given one episode and then another episode. Uh, so they were, we, 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 they, we were kind of trip fed the scripts um, as and when we needed them. We were, when we were filming, I wasn't allowed to be in the same hotels as uh, most of the other actors, um, just because if anybody twigged that the production, that what, which we were calling Tea and Sympathy while we were filming it as mm. a kind of cover for it, if anybody had twigged that it was Broadchurch, seen the Broadchurch actors and then seen me, that that might have given the game away a bit. Um, so there was that, I had to travel uh, to set in um, disguise. Mm -hmm. um, what else did we have to do? Yeah, that was, that was kind of it, but, this, but oh, we had, uh, we had um, encrypted scripts so you could mm -hmm. only access your own script with your own password and your name was printed across each page. Okay. Which I think is common practice now, the name printed across the page, but yeah. certainly the encryption thing I've, I've never come across before. Um, and do you still not know everything that happens in this series? Do you, do you, do you know? I don't know what the eventual outcome is, is going to be. <laughs> what the future holds. <laughs> yeah. Um, it looks at the moment, like, after the first episode, we know where the show is going in this mm. series. It looks like there's sort of three sort of strands of the plot. Do you think we'll be surprised about where it does end up? Do you think it's going to actually, you know, other twists yeah. going to blow us away like they did in the first series? I, yeah, I think, I think you'll be... Surprised, yes. <laughs> I know you'll be surprised. <laughs>